Hello everyone, this is MBBS Gallery. Today I came up with an important topic, wonderful topic that is superior sagittal sinus. Without wasting our time, let us get into the topic superior sagittal sinus. The superior sagittal sinus is actually the sinus which is present between the faxillary berries. The faxillary berries here, the yellow marking, these two lines indicate the faxillary berries. In between the faxillary berries, there is a sinus called superior sagittal sinus. It is a sinus which actually begins in the crista gallery regions anteriorly. So here is the diagram. So if suppose this is the crista gallery anteriorly, from this region it extends backwards. The size is also almost increasing as the sinus getting backwards. So from the crista gallery behind the foramen cecum, the superior sagittal sinus extend behind the uh, cranium behind the cranium so that it just becomes progressively becomes larger in size and then on cutting its cross sections it resembles a triangular shape so on reaching on reaching the internal occipital protuberance it usually deviates to the right side and continues as right transverse sinus this is transverse sinus here. so this is left transverse sinus this is right transverse sinus so it continues with the right transverse sinus and further in turn it continues with the right sigmoid sinuses and after that that is a jugular foramen through which this sinus gets away uh, this sinus get leaves the skull the sinus gets leaves the skull through the jugular foramen so this is uh, all about sagittal sinus superior sagittal sinus and that is that is a villi, some of the villi which projects into the lumen of the superior sagittal sinus. And there are a few more tributaries which gets in into the sinus are emissary veins. Here you see the emissary veins and the diploic vein and the superior cerebral veins. These are all the tributaries, tributaries which getting into the superior sagittal sinus. And that, the clinical importance is that the formation of a throm thrombus. So we are going to see it in a clear manner by precise notes. So here let us see about the superior sagittal sinus in a clear cut and a crisp manner. Three points. So the actually the superior sagittal sinus lies between the two layers of the fax cerebri along the convexity of its attached border. It begins at the crista galley behind the foramen cica, passes backwards and on reaching the internal occipital protuberance, it deviates usually to the right to become continuous with the right transverse sinus. In turn, it continues with the right sigmoidal sinus. The right sigmoidal sinus leaves the skull through the for jugular foramen to continuous as the right internal jugular veins. These are all the points I have already been said in the introduction itself. So, the size of the sinus becomes progressively larger progressively larger as it passes backwards from the crista galley to the internal occipital protuberance and the features the features includes it is triangular in cross sections we know that and it communicates with the venous lacunae on each side of uh, on each side the site of drainage of diploic and meningeal veins are there in the sinus and arachnoid granulation projects into its lumen so here is the tributaries the first uh, superior cerebral veins, the parietal emissary veins, small veins from the nasal cavity, veins of the frontal air sinus. These are all the veins which are in the superior sagittal sinus. And finally, we see about the clinical aspects. So the most common thing is thrombosis. Thrombosis of the superior sagittal sinus. How does it form? It is due to the spread of infection from the dangerous area of the face and scalp deploy to the superior sagittal sinuses may cause a thrombosis. It results in the clinical features such as marked increase in intracranial pressure and deliriums. And this is the fa final final thing. And I hope that you will find helpful in remembering the superior sagittal sinus and I think I made it in a more more simple way. Thank you and support us for more videos.